Here we go. This is Rob's game in the Ibuki. Now, this is the Tier 9 Japanese Heavy Cruiser. And uh, she's okay. I would only say she's okay. Um, there's a lot of things working against the Ibuki in this game. Uh, for one, her torpedo angles are pretty not good. They, they can torpedo middle and rear. Two, uh, her, her armor scheme's okay, but not, not fantastic. Uh, she does have really nice guns. And Rob, really Rob? After we talked about on the last stream, how important it is to pick up the B-Hull, you haven't done so. Why not? I mean, he's doing. He's trolling us at this point. I'm con You're not gonna convince me otherwise. So the B hole is very important because you always get extra rudder shift. Look at the difference. You save yourself uh, two and a quarter seconds rudder shift time by getting the B hole. That alone makes it worth it. On top of that, you typically get more anti-air and you also get more hit points. So there, there's really no reason not to grab this b-hole right away rob you were saying sir i forgot what i was gonna say okay now the torpedoes whatever one of these torpedo i mean it, it's really not that big of a difference if you look at the reload time now the damage is sizably different but if you look at the reload time right it it's whatever. Now, the guns, this gives you an extra 10% um, to your main battery firing range. Comes in handy. Um, but you definitely want, you want the hull first, at the very least. And then from there, you can decide if you want to get the range or not, or and or the torpedoes or not, right? The hull, I would say, is mandatory. So... Characteristics of the Ibuki, um, like I was talking about earlier, she's great if the enemy charges into you while you're kiting away. Uh, really good HE characteristics, decent AP that a lot of people forget about. Um, armor that I would say trolls both the player as well as the person shooting it, because from time to time, they will get lucky sits on you. From time to time, you'll dodge incoming fire that you thought surely would have killed you so let's take a look at the build we already talked about the lack of of the uh, upgrades here modules wise main armaments mod one engine room protection aiming systems propulsion concealment main battery now your rudder shift time is 9.5 seconds so i agree with the idea of going propulsion here my my limit is 10 seconds if it's larger than 10 i go rudder shift so propulsion makes sense here in my opinion uh, everything else is fine i don't see a problem uh, with these choices here hello brown how are you now your plane Rob, why are you using fighter instead of scout? I forgot to swap them out. Okay. After this, after the match and the replay, I did swap out the uh, defensive AA. Now, uh, don't click my. Okay. The reason why this is important, guys, is because scouting aircraft one. If you look at this, they have there's one more charge. Two. If you look at the action time, scouting aircraft are up longer. Three, the main battery firing range is improved by scouting, spotting aircraft. And then four, it doesn't show it on here, but spotting aircraft actually go farther away from your ship than fighters do. So you have a better chance of spotting something with, shocker, a spotting plane. 
And then you chose defensive anti-air instead of hydro? Why is that, sir? Uh, I forgot to talk about that, but I, I was running hydro in the last match we were, I played it in. Okay, so he forgot to swap it out. Fair enough. All right. Hydro, by the way, far better choice than defensive anti-air right now, at least. Let's look at your captain. You've got a 10-point captain. I'm assuming this is not a special captain. That is correct. So you start with Grease the Gears into Priority Target, Adrenaline Rush, Concealment. I guess you don't lose your engine or rudder much on this ship? Not much, and I do have engine room protection. You do? Well. Okay. Personally, I would still probably consider running Last Stand to start with. Uh, Turner Traverse... That'll come in handy towards the end, but... The Japanese cruisers, typically, you play at long range, and then you get closer if you need to. Kind of like German cruisers, for that matter. I'd go gun feeder. Not even a question. Gun feeder, because how important it is to be able to switch between AP and HE. Okay. Okay. And you've got no signals. Cool. Well, that makes it easy to talk about. <laughs> All right, let's get into your battle. Who Jam wants me to replay his game in the Salem in the Epic. All right, you have tier tens, uh, tier eight carrier, your middle tier. Oh, Hortagos, hello! Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. What brings you in, my dude? If you don't, if you do not mind me asking. Glacial, hey, I'm doing fine, thanks. Um, I told my wife I would stop streaming at about six. We're kind of on track for that. We'll see what happens. I got two, if not three, replays to do. Uh, Rob, why are you leaving the flank here? Um, I wasn't. I, I was just trying to sort of move closer to the middle. That, okay, that's leaving the flank. Well, I was going to be on the D side of that, close to that big island. Ah, really? The pick of the cat and the bacon. That's my cat, Stevie. Uh, sadly, we had to put him to sleep a few weeks ago, but uh, he still he still lives on in all of our hearts and minds, and he loves bacon. Is there Guy Fox Knight Bonfire Knight in us? I don't know. But anyway, when you follow, you give Stevie bacon, and he loved bacon and all that. But I really don't like that you're going this way, Rob. You, it puts you in, like, let me pause it right now. You were just detected. You are... Broadside to Puerto Rico, Vermont, St. Vincent, Castilla, and that's what you can see. Maybe one or two more other ships. To me, this is extremely risky. If you went up the flank and were with the Benson, you could be dealing with the Puerto Rico and maybe focusing him down more. Opening up on the Castilla, whatever. Oh, look, you missed. Cargo torpedoes. Uh, who jam? Do you remember the uh, name of that replay? Time on. Did I just see this right? Did you just take a torpedo that you absolutely did not need to take, bro? I misjudged when to turn in. Okay. So I managed to turn into one of his torpedoes. Okay, I see it, Hujam. Wait, maybe. Salem, Okinawa. Oh, there goes a Hayate on the other side, so that's oof. The heck? Mm. 
All right, well, I'll just re-download it. Salem, open out. The Falcon is back to lurk again. Welcome back, dude. How was your dinner? Once again, making somebody miss. Yeah, you you know you're doing a nice job of dodging incoming fire. It just again, if I sp it, uh, part of this problem is your Schlieffen is leaving the area as well as the Georgia just chilling. There's really no battleships on your flank. That's a problem. That's a big problem, in my opinion. What does Lurk actually do? So, when you Lurk away, Leo, um, what essentially you're doing is you're saying, I'm just going to park uh, myself here on the stream, leave it open, and go do something else for a while. And what you're doing for me to help is you're helping with my numbers so that that's one extra average viewer if you think about it that way and of course uh if you're if you're lurking away and ads hit well hey that's extra ad revenue as well so it actually does a lot believe it or not leo i think i'm getting a call okay well you better go answer the call uh kagura you had some good shots on him missed him unfortunately so right here, I might flip my guns left and continue heading towards the CAG. But that being said, I'd have my Hydro action going. But you don't have Hydro. Instead, you opted for defensive anti-air. So not going to work for you quite the way that you would probably prefer it to work. Welcome back. Is your replay render ready? Um, that that's it's the same difference, uh, Leo. It's just you're you're basically just trying to help ensure that somebody's watching my stream. That's all. The only difference is that you let the streamer know that you're still watching, but you're not here anymore. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Kagero, ages out. I like the shot here. You know that he's low. You know that he's his engines are out, and he's probably going straight. You missed everything, but but whatever. Um, he switched to AP. Brought to Castilla. I realized that. If you had gun feeder, this would make perfect sense. Without it, okay. So broadside Castilla and hey, four overpens. Ouch. In other words, he started moving forward. You weren't able to kill him, but hey, your Georgia took care of it for you. So that's nice of your Georgia, right? Joel, what's up, Joel? Joel, we had earlier, um, Android, what, uh, something, table Android? Tabletop Android. Like Tabletop, that. yes. You probably know him. He was hanging around. He got my email to, uh, consider, uh, doing stack up stuff. He's gonna take a look at it. Awesome. Joel is a Microsoft Flight Simulator streamer, uh, who does a lot of helicopters and, and other games, too. Other types of, uh, Aircraft as well, I should say. You don't even know what you're looking at. We are doing replay analysis, Joel, which means we are looking at... Uh, this is Robloxian plays his game. And we're watching his game in, in Ibuki, which is a Japanese heavy cruiser from World War II. 
you're welcome for this shout out, dude. And uh, part of my stream is giving feedback. It's um, it's kind of similar to how um, uh, what's his name? Shoot, the hell is his name? Uh, what? Forther? That his name? Ford Forder Forder. It's similar to how Forder does. Uh, he does, he does replays of Flight Simulator, right? People that go and and play that game, and and everything they do, and then uh, you know he gives them feedback. That's exactly. Oh, Vermont. Forget the Minnesota. He's gonna burn up. Focus the Vermont instead. You did not break your lock. I guess you really want this kill. I think that was a bug because he wasn't actually losing any health. Oh, okay. Big hit there. Vermont smacked you. Like, when we watch people land and laugh at them? Well, I mean, if you want to make it that way, sure. Um, my channel is all about constructive criticism, though. Uh, the only people we laugh at are Rob because Rob does Rob things. Right, Rob? Like, yeah. not using fully upgraded ships. But everybody else you know we we do very much respect and uh we give them feedback directly so that, that that's what we're all about here only when they finish ask the oh finish the battle pass congratulations you got your win 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 or wins one of the two win win gotcha Well, Rob, you are currently winning, so that's exciting. I do like that you stayed on this flank, although I talked about earlier with you how I didn't like... I really don't like this. What? What are you... And Vermont cares about the Castilla behind you instead of you. Wow, you are seriously lucky, dude. You just... You just... came out broadside to... a Vermont. That... We, we talked about this before. This is taking unnecessary risks that There's might as well There's result in throwing the game. It is very much an unnecessary risk. At this point in this battle, it probably will not matter. You're probably going to win the game anyways. But still, I agree. It's a very, very, very unnecessary risk. To the point where maybe that's the title for this replay analysis, huh? It's either risk or flank. Because you abandoned the flank as well. Slow down, turn in. He didn't really slow down, he just kept going straight. A lot of damage there. Ouch. Okay, well, at least he died. Rob said he almost died. Well, I can see that now. Remember, if you had the upgraded hull, you wouldn't be almost dead right now. You also grind the a-holes. Dutch, you are an a-hole. Why would you do that to yourself and your team? <laughs> that, was, that was rude, sir. <laughs> Why? I'm sorry, but... We, we've identified what the a-hole does, uh, what the b-hole does, I should say, for grinding stuff. So... I'm curious. There, there is no good reason to not buy the PR. Uh, the only good reason I, I, I can think of is credit you or have no free, free XP speed. saving. Yeah, right. Always free XP the B-Hole. That's right, Glacial. There you go. Don't be an A-Hole. Free XP. But, but here's the thing, right? While you're grinding through, like, let's say you have the Ibuki here. Mm -hmm. While you were grinding to the Ibuki, like you were playing the Mogami, during the grind, you accumulate free XP. 
So yep. you can use that free XP then to skip the stock modules on the next chip. Yep. Uh, yep. Tier 8, 9, and 10 are definitely worth doing that. 5, 6, 7. Honestly, you could probably get away with ignoring it. You want to experience the air hole for what it is. Okay. Like it's it's like, like you Your can't choice. skip it. Like you need to ex you need to research it anyway to get to the next chip. Like right. It's one way or another. You have to invest the XP. <laughs> I would say it's worth it's worth it if you're gonna play a lot of co-op or operations. But if you're playing random battles or ranked battles or especially clan battles uh should it be that tier you're really you're really hurting your team by taking an a-hole and being an a-hole for regrinds you do free xp the hole well there you go all right rob let's take a look you got yourself a dreadnought you were talking about that earlier Game in second place, not too shabby. Good damage on the Vermont, that was from Torpedoes. Uh, Minnesota, you just hit him with your main guns. Castilla, main guns. Montana, Kagero. I mean, the only feedback I can give to you, dude, is like you kind of abandoned that flank. You know that you know the meme. I found the eye in team. It's in the A hole. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's other issues, that's true, in a random battle Dutch. It's just um I would say I don't want to be the person that causes the loss if I can help it. That's all. Seth. What? Since, since we, we're done with this game? Yes. You know what? I, I talked over earlier that I can't get the Napoli because then I have not enough for the Kitakami. Yes. I just bought the premium battle path for the tokens and turned them into Black Friday containers and pulled the Napoli B. Hey, there you go. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, getting to this replay, Rob. I would say I don't like that you left the flank, but at the same time, looking at the fact that your Georgia and Schlieffen left the flank too, I can understand it. If your Schlieffen stayed on the flank, it would be a different story. Instead, your Schlieffen just went off and got himself killed by what, the Marceau? I mean, Sag if so, he's still alive, but whatever. I mean, you can see where I decided to turn around because I realized that the Stephen was basically a lost cause. Yeah, he just dies in the channel for no good reason. So he, he noped out of your flank, went to the channel, and died. Like, all he did. So. Feels bad. Normally, Rob, I would say I'd love to see you on the 10 line, moving up or down that 10 line as necessary. Um, I think you put yourself in a lot of unnecessary risk moving to the middle and then moving back out to the side. You didn't get punished for it this time, so congratulations for that. But damn, dude, you know? And there's the stupidity slap from the Montana. Dude, it's a Montana. It's a slap. <laughs> That's what Montana <laughs> does. It doesn't care about your armor. It slaps. I and, know, but it happened because I was in a stupid spot. Actually, I think that, that was in Minnesota, but yeah. Well, with both of them, with both times I got slapped. It was uh -huh. because I was in a somewhat stupid position. Yep. Well, like, hey. You can see me chatting with the Montana earlier. Like I told him he got robbed, and he's like, yeah, that, but it happens. Yep. Well, Rob, thank you for sending the replay in. I don't know there's much else to talk about here, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, like, I was proud of, like, the results that I got, but I was like, yeah, there's definitely ways I can improve. 
Um, improvement, like I said, it really just comes down to positioning. That's a hard game to give you real feedback on because a lot of things worked out in your favor uh, and you took advantage of opportunities that, that presented themselves. I didn't really see a lot to comment on that game. All right, well, let's do this. We're going to go to 